Village, DJ Benjamin, Super Monkey, and Dartling. Guys, this might be the best late game strategy in Blue Sea Battles 2, and today I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's get it, guys. Alright, guys, today we are playing with the strategy DJ Benjamin, Village, Dartling, and Super Monkey, which is going to be really, really fun here. And we're against Mr. The, Drun the Drunken Booma. The Drunken... Yeah, Drunken Booma. So, <laughs> good luck to him. And, um, yeah, start with my Dartling right here, and I'm going to leak... A life off the start but it's all good guys it's all good because i have dj bin with my loadout so i will rejuvenate my lives so yeah the reason i am bringing dj bin by the way is because it allows me to greet a lot more with my eco around like 11 13 stuff so i think it's going to be important in my loadout today i think it's going to be quite important for me to bring dj bin here so yeah but he's starting with his double boomerang start um i'm getting flashbacks when people bring boomer on this map to the balloon tuber tournament with uh Boltrix's boomerang so we'll see if this guy has a similar issue but hopefully not Hopefully this guy, guy's boomerangs and actually work on this map. That would be nice. That would be nice. We get our DJ bin down on this round, as always, and then we'll start switch over to blue balloons. Cause this strategy, guys, is absolutely cracked late game. It it is, it is. I have have no way to explain it. The super monkey with the village combination is absolutely insane because you can get the home and defense with a bunch of dark knights and stuff on strong, and it just it just goes into town. It really does. So I, I'm excited for this one. I am quite excited for this one. Let's get do I upgrade this guy now? Or do I go for a second dartling? Questions and answers need to become. I'm going to upgrade this one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to upgrade it. I am going to leak quite a bit here, but it is what it is because, yeah, it is what it is. Let's also use DJ Ben's ability once it comes here, so then I can actually eat up all these balloons really easily. Nice, nice, nice. And now we're not chasing too much. That's great. That is great. Starting with the Dartling is a lot harder than I remember it used to be, because I used to use this strategy all the time on my channel, guys, but this was before the Dartling got nerfed about 30 times, so, um, it, I'm not really, <laughs> it's different now, it's different, you know? Like, I'm not used to the new Dartling prices too much, so, yeah, we've got powerful darts here, though. Nice. Switch over to green, Balloon Eco. Looks like the Oban with Boomer. I wonder if they're bringing Super, they could be bringing Super Boomer Village. That would be interesting. Because then we both have uh, super and village strategies. However, I think my strategy is better late game than that because we have Dartling. And Dartling um, Dartling is better late game because you have the MAD and stuff. But they have they have glue now. So they might be bringing sub-glue boomer. Ooh, that could be interesting too. I've never seen that strategy on this map. I have never seen that strategy on this map before. But it's weird how they went for the glue down here. Because if you have glue in your strategy and you want to stall the rounds, you're going to place your glue up top. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why they placed the glue at the bottom there. That's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. We're going to target the startling and set target, and I can move the second one freely. That was a plan right there. And we'll be fine. And we'll send us lots of yellow balloons next round. Lots of yellow balloons to be sent next round. Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go with the yellow balloons. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. He actually goes for a glue hose against yellow balloons. That's... I don't know. You don't need that, dude. You have a ricochet. Ricochets are good against yellow balloons. I don't know. This guy's defense is kind of spooky now. The drunken Booma might actually be drunk, ladies and gentlemen. They might actually be drunk based on this gameplay. I don't know. I don't know. Let's make sure we stall these rounds, though. So we want to target my Dartling downwards here just to make sure we don't pop these um, AI red balloons until they come all the way around a little bit. It's going to be important. It's going to be quite important for us here. All right. Already 900 eco here. We're doing pretty solid so far, I think. 920. Let's see if we can hit 1k on round 8. That's always a really good benchmark to hit on this map. 1k on round 8 would be amazing. But I don't know if we're going to hit it. We're getting really, really close here. And we do end up hitting it. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, now I need to start saving up for my Hydro Rocket Pods. I probably have over eco a little bit too much. But, again, we do have um, DJ Ben in our loadout. So we can use DJ Ben's ability to help us out a lot. Which is always phenomenal. Don't pop these green balloons down. Now, it would be nice if I, if I can get my village down before I upgrade my Dartling, but we'll see how it goes. Because if I can get my village down before I upgrade my Dartling, then I'm going to get it a lot cheaper. A lot a good deal on it, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get a good deal on my Hydro Rocket Pods here. Okay, we should be able to get it up right here. Beautiful. Nice stuff. And now I'll go back to Ecoing. We should be able to fend round 13 region rainbows as well, because we do have DJ Benjamin's, Benjamin's ability. So, we're completely fine there, guys. We're completely fine there. To continue ecoing now. We have a laser shock on this guy as well. Now you could make an argument, Ryan, why aren't you bringing Ocean Oban instead of DJ Benjamin? Ocean Oban buffs the Super Monkey, Ryan. What are you thinking? You do have a point there, but 
if I had Ocean Oban, I would not have this high of eco, not even close to this high of eco right now. And the reason is, Benjamin uh, makes it so I can defend round 13 rushes with only one Hydro Rocket Pods, where if I had Ocean Oban, I'd need a Rocket Storm or something if they rush me, and then I wouldn't be able to greet near as hard, if you know what I'm saying. So I think it's better for me to bring DJ Ben here. I just need so much money late game that the greeting aspect is so important. We're going to eco with Yellow Balloons though until I get to Monkey Town and the Monkey City, and then we'll switch over to Pinks and stuff. I think. He's actually going for an acid glue at the top. What? This guy wants to anti-stall hard. Ooh. They're trying to counter my counter my late game strategy, I think, but with an anti-stall now. Interesting. Interesting there. Alright. We'll get this monkey town here in about what one income boost? And then we should be good. Yeah, one one income boost here. There we go. We get that up. Beautiful. And then we'll get this monkey city up once I get the money for it. Defending mole brushes might be a little bit spooky. I could go for Super Monkey or I could go for Zero Zero Dartling Spam. I do not know which way is the best option to take. Probably Zero Zero Dartling Spam, and then I'll go for the Super Monkey for like BFBs and stuff. I think that'll be the plan of action here. I think that will be the plan of action. We're almost at the point where I can get this Monkey City up. I also have a really solid eco. Look at this, almost 2k eco on round 16, dude. On round 16, we already have about 2k eco. This Acid Glue though on their side is um it's kind of it's kind of hindering my eco. I'm not gonna lie. I could definitely have a higher eco if they weren't anti-stalling with that guy. But I mean, to each their own. There's not really anything I can do about that. Okay, he is sending me a region rainbow rush here. Let's make sure I use DJ Ben's ability. We are good there. If he does re- oh crap. We are good. We're good. That's calculated. Calculated leaks. Calculated leaks. Knockback. Spam some zero zero dartlings here. Do I boost? Boost, boost, boost. Calculated, calculated. I don't know if I need. Uh, okay, I think I needed to boost that. I think I needed to boost that, to be honest with you guys. I don't like boosting and stuff like that, but it got a little spooky, a little scary, so I, I think I, that was a necessary boost. Hopefully we can target, yeah, let's keep my Dartlings targeted like this now, so then he doesn't layer near as much rush on me, you know what I'm saying? Now that will be a lot better against rushes. And again, I am down to 64 lives, guys, but we can still take it as late game as I want, because my Benjamin will eventually rejuvenate all my lives, and then I'll be good. Let's get Dark Knight here. We should be fine now, with Dark Knight. Let's also start purple leaking a little bit. Just get a little bit of purple action going here. We should be completely fine against this. Yeah, we're completely fine. Great. A little bit of purple action going. I didn't mean to send zebras. My bad. Because these are the rounds you want a purple eco on, guys. You want a purple eco as soon as possible after you get all your pink eco in. Because if you purple eco later in the game, we already have like 6k eco. It's just you're not going to get time for it to outpace pink eco and uh, money produced for the price. You know what I'm saying? So this is the rounds I want a purple eco on the most. Probably until I get about 5k eco. Or maybe, I don't know. He's sending me more, dude. Didn't you just send me Moabs and it didn't do anything? I don't I don't understand. Oh, I didn't mean to send leads there. I don't understand this guy sometimes. He ends up getting a, what's it called? Ballistic Missile. Okay. Interesting. I think I'll go, I won't go to 5k with purples. I, I need to save up money for ZMGs and stuff as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll switch over to pinks now. Just so I have a little bit more money on hand for ZMG rushes. Because this guy has sent me a lot of stuff. So I don't, honestly, ex kind of expect a ZMG from them. Kind of expect a ZMG, but we'll see. All I really need to do, though, is pop the ZMG layer, because then I can use the DJ Benjamin ability for BFBs inside. So, ZMG defense actually is not going to be too difficult for us here. It's not going to be too hard. And it doesn't even look like they're sending me one, so I'll go to purple, back to purple equal until I hit 5k here. Back to purple equal until I hit 5k here. My Dark Knight should handle these rainbow balloons, right? Right? You're a Dark Knight. Do your work. Alright, let's get, let's get Plasma Blast on this guy. He is sending me a ZMG now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for a second village real quick. Get a Monkey Commerce. We'll go for a Dark Knight in the range of both of these. So then I get the double discount. Double discount, boys. Double discount. You already know. Dark Knight. Plasma Blast. Beautiful. And this should be able to defend pretty easily. This should be able to defend pretty easily, I think. Because all we need to do, again, is pop the ZMG layer down. And then once it's down, we just use the DJ Ben ability, and then it's four Moabs. And four Moabs is not hard to defend, guys. Four Moabs is not a difficult defense. Honestly, let's go for a triple discount. 
Why not? Why not just triple her up? Oh wait, crap, I forgot to use the ability. So now what we do is we dark shift it out. This is 2000 IQ player, guys. We dark shift it out, and I can just go for another dark knight right here. I can just build them up with a triple discount. And then dark shift it out. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so smart, dude. If you want to see more 2000 IQ plays, guys, hit the subscribe button right now, because this is this is next level. I can just keep getting them with the triple discount and then shifting them out and making room. Okay. I'm not going to use it too much, though, because if this guy doesn't seem like a BED and stuff, I might actually want to go for a temple with the support sacrifice, because that actually helps my defense a lot. So let's not invest too much money into my Dark Knights at the moment here. Let's not go too crazy with it, guys. Even though that was pretty cool, we're not going to go too crazy with it at the moment. Because there might be other stuff I want to save up for. So, yeah. Make sure we don't pop a say I Moab till it comes all the way around. Just because we're trying to stall these rounds out more and more. We're solid there. Nice, nice, nice. Our eco's looking really good right now. Look at this. 6,700 eco. Round 26. We're doing solid. We're going we're gonna against um, DDT rushes as well. Four Dark Knights is going to solo DDT rushes really easily. So, we'll be completely fine. Plus, we have $50,000 on hand. So, I mean, come on. We're like Money Man bull tricks right now. I, I don't know where I was going with that one. I don't know where I was going with that one. But we've got all the money, dude. We're doing really solid. What if we can hit 10k eco before on 30? I don't know if we'll be... I don't know if we're on pace for that, to be honest. I've done it once before. I've done it once before in an actual game. But it was on docks. So, plus this guy has had the Bloom Liquifier all at the top of the entire time, which has anti a few rounds. So, I, I doubt we'll hit 10k eco in round 30. I doubt it. I mean, if I really wanted to try to get closer, I could send purple eco, but that wouldn't be smart for the long term. That would not be smart for the long term, guys. So we're not going to do that. We are not going to do it. I apologize. I know you guys would like to see the 10k eco, but I don't think we're going to hit it today. Unfortunately, not. We're at, we're at a really solid eco, though. We are at a really solid eco. Now, DJ Benjamin is kind of useless now in these later game rounds. I mean... I guess when you get a level 20 DJ bin up, it can solo like all the all DDT rushes, but again, that's not really an issue with my loadout. So, yeah. He was mostly just to allow me to get a really high eco throughout this game. Which I think I think it's already been better than Ocean Open. Like, I don't know. This guy has sent me a lot of rushes where if I had Ocean Open, I probably would not have near as much eco as I do right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, lads? What's our eco? Okay, we're at 8,000 around 29. We'll probably get to near 9,000, I'd imagine, but not 10,000. Definitely not 10,000 at this rate. And he is still ecoing, by the way. So this guy does want to take it really late, it appears. I am going to have more lives. See, look, adds 10 lives per round, cybersecurity. So in five rounds, I'll have max life count. So they technically will need to rush me before round 40, which is great here, because they're not going to rejuvenate their lives with their loadout, but I will, which is, which is phenomenal for me. It's phenomenal. So where do I want to place my Sun Temple if I'm going to get one up? Maybe just like right there? I don't know. Ooh, I don't know actually. Because I want it to be in my MAD range as well. For giving it the buff, you know what I'm saying? How much three of these sacrifice for? Okay, I would probably need to sacrifice all four for the magic. Well, I don't even need... I just want the support sacrifice, really. Alright, he's sending me that. Get an MAD here. keep spamming these dark knights let's go for uh jungle drums i don't want to invest too much money in my defense here because again i want to i don't want to go for like a homeland defense or anything because i want to try to what's it called i want to try to get up the support temple oh crap We're good, we're good. Calculated, calculated. Oh my gosh, I almost died there. I almost died there. Holy cow. Alright. Not even close, not even close, guys. Not even close. What do you mean? You guys were worried? I wasn't worried. Come on now. Come on now. You know me. You know me, the big Mahalik. Never worried. Let's get Monkey Intelligence Spear here, just so I don't die to purples. Okay. I'll keep you going to about 10k, maybe? Maybe go a little bit past 10k. So how much all these sacrifice for? Alright. 
I need fifty thousand dollars of sacrifices. I only want support sacrifice, by the way. It's just to support temple. That's all I need because the temple is going to do no damage even if I do the other sacrifices. It's not worth it. It's just to support my other towers. So twenty thousand there. How much do you sell for? Thirty-five thousand. Okay, that's enough. That's enough for the max fifty thousand sacrifice. I'll get a little bit more eco first. Let's get ten thousand five hundred about, or maybe a little bit past. Uh, we'll go a little bit more. We'll go eleven thousand. Go eleven thousand. Nope, he stopped eco. That's that's just that's just um. Okay, one sec. Holy cow! All right, all right. We need an anti balloon micro list. We actually need an anti balloon micro list. Holy cow, anti balloon just literally decimated it. Oh, wow. Well then, that was interesting. I didn't think anti dude, I just used like two anti balloon abilities in the Madden and just everything went away. All LCMGs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please like and subscribe and move forward. Peace lads.